everybody, this is not a, not a spring chicken. And if you think I'm like, oh yeah, we're getting one ready, we're shooting. <laughs> okay, no, that's one thing I did learn, is you don't shoot the marshmallows at the camera. But we're having just a little bit of fun. We did our show, Christmas is 2012, a live stream special last night, if you happen to watch us. If not, stay tuned to christmases2012.com, because we'll tell you where you can go ahead and watch it. Um, we do have some other versions coming out, 3D, 2D. Yeah with all the extras and behind the scenes. I know, it sounds kind of crazy. Oh, I, you know what, I guess you better get back to news, right? So we're gonna bring old cam comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yes, they were called in and chastised by the president about not wanting to raise taxes by 1.6 billion trillion dollars. And then they came out and basically, you know, there was a constructive meeting. And then all the Republicans that put the Republicans in the House are demanding that the Republicans raise taxes. And actually, that's not going to happen because they've all said they're, they're not going to raise taxes. And because they're not going to raise taxes, the Democrats have decided to use political campaign money to protest Republicans that refuse to raise taxes. Wait, wait, say that again? They're going to use Obama's campaign money to protest that they're going to spend it on attacking Republicans who won't raise taxes. <laughs> and I, I, like I heard the person explaining one to the one of the Democrats this morning. He said, the Republicans all won their offices on not raising taxes. There is no election for two years. You can, they can say, basically, kiss my butt as far as you're concerned because you have no effect on them until next year. So you aren't going to get your taxes raised because you're... He yeah, said, question, are you going to cut it? Well, we can't cut anything because the money is too important to those people. And he said, but you, where is the fair and balanced? There is mm -hmm. none. Well, speaking of taxes, Paul Ryan, all Obama has no mandate to raise taxes. He got statistically 50% of the vote. The Republicans got 50% of the vote. And, uh, and it just doesn't look like okay, it if you look at the electoral votes. But what happened was... Obama took the cities, he took the hearts of every major city and lost the suburbs and the country over the end. I mean, they had to really do some jury rigging on the map to make it look blue because the whole country is red. I mean, uh, uh, they said... Well, except for the major metropolitan areas. No, no metro, but they, what they did was to, they basically linked major metropolitan areas together to make it look like the map was more blue than this. No, it's oh. all red, folks. It was, they said that 75% of the voting districts in this country voted Republican, not Democrat. And Obama campaigned to future Italy in red wine. Oh yeah, because, well, they don't have to camp, they'll never campaign for Obama again because uh, he's going to be president for life if the Democrats don't do something about it. Mm -hmm. And Pelosi touts new House Democrats. I know. Well, we're diverse Republicans are. You see, Republicans have Women, Republicans have senior citizens, Republicans have gay people, Republicans have transsexuals. Uh, I guess in reality, oh, here's the fun part. The Pew Institute said Republicans are considerably more diverse and younger than the Democrats are. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? And Indiana Blast investigation focuses on natural gas. Well, because what happens is if your main business is responsible for the destruction of an area. It's always of somebody, something else's fault. So now it's a natural gas explosion, of which I don't think they have a lot of in Indiana. Mm. And McAfee Software founder, person of interest in murder case. Well, he's, he's basically, I think he's in the uh, counselor's office there because he said that they, had, they put a hit out on him, the government, to shut him up. Because he's been basically leading a campaign against corruption in the state government. Okay, if you're an American, you don't go to some foreign country and lead a campaign for corruption against that government because they generally get rid of you. Well, that's not really smart. Actually, he's probably lucky to still be alive. Yeah. <laughs> Oxford American Dictionary names GIF, Word of the Year. GIF? Uh, God something or other. GI God in. I have no G idea what that means. It's a hyphenization. I thought GIF, I know, they capitalized it. I'm thinking of like, you know, GIF files, like image files, but no, I know no, it's it doesn't name, mean that. It basically stands for something. It's something I've never heard of. Since we do business in words, we also write, folks, and we don't know what it means. It really is not the word of the year. <laughs> and Microsoft says window head Stephen Sinofsky is leaving. We are actually fired him. This is the guy that basically, he led the campaign, he led, he'd been leading our witness program, and I think he blew the whistle 
on the fact that Windows 8 has a horrible problem. It is basically tremendously consuming of your memory and of your hard drive. That's why you have more me internal memory on a Windows 8 than on any others and why the hard drive is massive. But don't they always say that right when they bring out a new operating system? Don't they all have the same problem? Because all these extra bells and whistles they want to do, they all take more memory. I know, but most computers don't do touch screen. Ah. And it's a touch screen system, so therefore you, you're having all of this junk on a system that virtually no computers are capable of handling. Ah, which also means if all you did was buy the PC for Windows 8, you're not getting touch screen unless you have a touch screen That's already. Right. Yeah. And earthquake hits northern Japan and no tsunami warning issued. Because they're really starting. Okay, you got these tsunamis that hit these countries two inches high. <laughs> they basically decided, well, I think we're going to stop issuing unless there's a major earthquake, you know, for, you know, because the last earthquake they had, the one from Miramar, when it hit Japan, it was two inches high. It was, like, it was less than a normal wave. And Obama to make a landmark visit to Myanmar this month. Oh, yeah. They said the President of the United States, we've got, he basically called people to the White House, and now he's going on a month-long tour, a, a dictator's tour. All the dictators in the world he's going to personally visit because he, I guess he wants to learn how, they be, how they're dictators because you are not going to change a dictator over to your side, folks. But they will change. You know, they said, okay, how do you execute people without getting in trouble for doing it? Well, you declare them, you know, as traitors to the government. Exclusive Google's Ventures BSEP fund sized to $300 million a year. Oh, I know. I saw that, that Google is basically trying to pump money into venture, into venture capitalism now. What it means is that uh, for X amount of dollars, they'll fund your project and then they get the project. That's how that generally works. Intel HP tout newest, newest what? Titanium server technology? Oh yeah, they're basically, uh, what they do is they, they create something that nobody has the ability to use. It's sort of like uh, Jackson doing his brand new technology for the Hobbit that only 175 theaters in the United States can show it on. Mm. Uh, you know, the, so, it's almost all the IMAX theaters, but actually we get the Hobbit where we're going to go see in a couple of weeks actually shows that. They're going to get to see it in the big screen, folks, because that's we get the 4,000K. Ooh, that's true. And you know, you're just making me wonder. It's like um, Breaking Dawn just came out. Was that, that wasn't in 3D, was it? I don't remember. No, actually what we, what we should do is go for next week and see about exchanging our tickets so that we can get the midnight showing of that movie. Oh, oh yeah, we'll get the um, midnight showing of the Hobbit one. Yeah. Although I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. Oh yeah, it's going to be a long one. But like it, three I hours. I want to see what makes this the new film style that everybody hated at the Comic Con. They totally hated it. Oh yeah, that's right. Because they were doing. They, they were, were showing previews and it got panned by everybody. Oh, that's kind of interesting. And I'll, oh, well, we already know about Obama and Myanmar. Let's see. Um, Exclusive Google Ventures beats up fund size to three hundred million dollars a year. I know she likes that when she did right oh. again. Oh, that's true. Accused Colorado gunman reportedly tried to harm himself. I you know this gets to be ridiculous, folks. I mean, uh, what it means is somebody tried to kill him because he made a deal that basically, they, okay, he's mentally ill. Well, he went to he went to do a shooting wearing a Joker outfit, folks, and uh. thought that Batman was going to come and fight him. Oh, that one! Yeah, no, he should never have been put in a jail cell because he's obviously mentally ill. And he never, I mean, he basically couldn't pass a competency test because he didn't know what we were doing. Usually, people like that, they get go off to, for lack of a better word, the funny farm. Yeah, but generally, it didn't happen. I mean, okay, the people over like Hannity and O'Reilly, who are really, really right wing loonies, they said that if they ever saw a guy that was not in this world, that was that guy because he never ever looked at anyone, he just stared into space. That's a person that's mentally ill, not a person that's a killer. BP expected to admit to criminal misconduct in 2010's bill. No, what? Well, no, they actually didn't. They, they pleaded nola contendere, which is no contest, which means uh -huh. they pled not, they did not plead guilty or guilty. Mm hmm. Yeah. Politically correct. That's right. <laughs> California panel rejects quake study near nuke plant. I know. The Obama was demanding it so he could shut down the nuclear reactor. The only problem is, is Obama is treading on the grounds of the Sierra Club and conservation groups like he's never going to get his high speed rail system done because he's got to go through Bureau of mm -hmm. Land Management grounds. They're not going to allow any of that stuff to happen because they know 
He only plans, it's all political, it has nothing to do with saving anything. Mm -hmm. And New York, oh actually, you mean they're actually paying attention to that? Because usually, you know, anything that serves their purpose. Yeah, but it doesn't serve the Sierra Club or the environmentalists, the process to basically set explosives off in an area that is basically a preserve. Oh, and BP expected to, oh, well, actually, we already know that. Um, New York Utility Executive promoted a mid-widening investigation. Okay, we're going to try to explain this again. They are a public utility. Yeah. They are not a private company. They're already regulated by the government. If they didn't respond, it's because, as the guy said, well, they didn't allow us to have, the, we, we haven't been able to upgrade our equipment because we can't, they won't allow us to. It. We weren't able to put enough people on because they don't allow it. They basically couldn't, they had to get a waiver to bring people in from out of state to work on them. Oh right? my because of the union problems. Oh boy. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, well, often when you finish the job, you actually find the job has just actually started.